Example three. In figure two, the height of a mercury barometer is H when the atmospheric pressure is 101,000 Pascal. What is the pressure at X? So they want you to give your answer. I think they want you to give your answer in Pascal. Eh? Okay, in Pascal. The atmospheric pressure is equal to 101,000 uh, Pascal. Okay. And this is equal to H cm mercury. Eh? The pressure at X is equal to 1 over 4 H. Okay, 1 over 4 H. Eh? And uh, H mercury is equal to 101,000 uh, 101, Pascal. Right? Because a H is equivalent to 101,000. But this is just a quarters of H, eh? 1 over 4 H. But this 1 over 4 is from the bottom, right? It's from the bottoms. The pressure at X must be measured from the top. Okay? From the top, yes. Which is 3 over 4 H. Eh? 3 over 4 H. So remember, pressure is not measured from the bottom. Pressure is measured from the top levels of the mercury here. So it's 3 over 4 H. Eh? So uh, a lot of students trick by these questions, okay? So it's the, the pressure is not 1 over 4 H, it's 3 over 4 H. 3 over 4 H. So uh, H is equivalent to 101,000 Pascal. Eh? Okay. So 3 over 4 H is 3 over 4 times 101,000 Pascal. What's the pressure at X? 75750. 75750 Pascal. So you see, eh? this point, the pressure is H. This point to this point, X, uh, the pressure is 3 over 4 H, uh, 3 over 4 H. So H is 101 Pascal, 101,000 Pascal, then uh, uh, the, the pressure at X is 75,750 Pascal. This one, actually, the question is more or less the same, but they just use a JT uh, to confuse you, okay? Uh, but the idea is still the same. Uh. Figure 3 shows a mercury barometer whereby the atmospheric pressure is 760 mm mercury on a particular day. Determine the pressure at point A, B, and C. Okay. Point A, B, and C. Tell me, what's the pressure at A? P, A. Zero. That's correct because uh, it's exposed to vacuum. Okay. Uh, P, B. What's the pressure at B? P, B is just 50. Yeah. 50 cm mercury. Okay, the length must be the length of the mercury. Yeah? Okay, A to B. Yeah? Okay, you don't need to include the vacuum. Uh, PC 76 uh, cm mercury. Okay, 76 cm mercury. Uh, actually, you can tell from the question, okay, because they say the atmospheric pressure is 760 mm mercury. Yeah? Okay, uh, this point yeah, the is same as the atmospheric pressure. This and this. C and atmospheric pressure uh, is the same, the pressure is the same. So the atmospheric pressure 760, then the PC also 760 mm or 76 cm mercury. Okay, now this question, uh, when there are some air trapped inside this mercury, okay, never mind, let's, let's complete this. Uh. Now when there's air trapped in the mercury, then the pressure at A, uh, you must include the pressure caused by the gas. Okay, so the pressure at A is uh, XCM mercury plus the pressure caused by the gas. Let me show you an example. Huh? Um, let's say this X is equal to 20 cm. And the pressure caused by the gas is equal to 5 cm mercury. So then the pressure at A will be uh, 20 cm mercury. That is the pressure caused by the mercury plus the, the pressure caused by the gas. So it's equal to... Uh, 25 cm mercury. So if there is a gas trap here, then the pressure at this point, uh, you must uh, add the pressure caused by the gas. Uh, okay, Because uh, now there are two pressure pressing down. Uh, the pressure of the gas and the pressure caused by the mercury. So both, both of this pressure exert on uh, point A. So therefore point A, the pressure at point A is, good, is equal to the pressures of the gas plus, plus the pressures of the mercury column so pressure at a equal to xcm mercury plus p gas and the atmospheric pressure equals to uh, hcm mercury plus 
P gas, huh? the pressure caused by the gas. So let's move to the questions, okay? Example five. So figure four shows a simple barometer with some air trapped in the tube. Given that atmospheric pressure is 101,000 pascal, find the pressures of the trapped gas. So uh, we know that the atmospheric pressure, the atmospheric pressure is equal to the pressures of the mercury plus the pressures of the air. Uh, we are talking about this point. Yeah? Uh, we are talking about this point here. This point. At this point, atmospheric pressure, okay? Atmospheric pressure is here, and this point is the pressures of the mercury plus the pressures of the air. Okay, and because they are same level, uh, so the pressure is the same. So atmospheric pressure equal to this point, the pressure at this point, and the pressure at this point is equal to the pressures of the mercury plus the pressures of the air. Uh, pressures of the um, the atmospheric pressure is uh, one zero one thousand pascal. Okay. Then how about the pressure caused by the mercury? The pressure caused by the mercury is 55 cm mercury and the pressure caused by the air we don't know. Okay, but now we have a problem because this one is in Pascal and this one is cm mercury, right? So we need to either change this to cm mercury or change this to Pascal. So let's change this to Pascal, it's easier. Uh, so we have 101,000 Pascal equals to, now 55 equals to 0 0.55 meter. The density, uh, density is supposed to be given, huh? okay? Density of mercury is uh, 13,600 huh? kg per meter cube. Huh? So 13,600. And uh, G, H row G, huh? okay? G is 10. And then plus the air pressure, okay? Plus the air pressure. So therefore, the air pressure is equals to 101,000 minus the pressure caused by this uh, 55 cm columns of mercury. What's the answer for this one? In Pascal. Uh, this is 74,800 Pascal, okay? And therefore the answer is uh, 26,200 Pascal. That is the pressures of the air. So, you see, uh, when there, there is air trapped in the tube, uh, then the pressure here, okay, is the pressures of the mercury column plus the pressures of the air and is equal to the atmospheric pressure. So the atmospheric pressure is the pressures of the mercury plus the pressures of the air. That, that is the questions where air trapped in the tube, okay? And uh, that's, how, that's how we find the, the gas pressures of the air. Example six. If the atmospheric pressure in a housing area is 100,000 Pascal, what is the magnitude of the force exerted by the atmospheric gas on a flat horizontal roof of dimensions 5 meters times uh, 4 meters? Okay, the question says that, let's say we have a house here, and then uh, let's say the roof, uh, the length is 5 meters, it actually is not very long, right? Okay, and then uh, let's say this is 4 meters, okay? So they want you to find how much force uh, exerted on this area. So we for these questions, uh, okay, for these questions we have the pressure. The pressure equals to one hundred thousand pascal. Okay, this is just approximation. So the atmospheric pressure, and we know the area is a uh, five multiply five multiplied by four, which is uh, twenty meter square. And they want us to find the force. Uh, uh, so therefore, we can use the formula P equals to F over A. Okay, so this is a house. This is a house. Eh? So therefore, uh, F equals to PA. Eh? F equals to PA. And uh, the P is 100,000 and then multiply by 20. Eh? So this is equal to uh, 2 million Pascal. So just try to imagine how big is the force. 2 million, sorry, the, the unit for uh, force is Newton. Eh? Newton. So, if you have a rooftop of just uh, five times four meters square, uh, five times four meters, okay, then uh, this roof, uh, it, it has to uh, support support a force of uh, two million newtons, two million newton. Eh? Okay, so that's how big the atmospheric pressure. Just try to imagine, okay, try to imagine how big is the atmospheric pressure. So even for your bodies, okay. Your your bodies, the 
uh, the area is about one meter square. Okay, one meter square, then you have to uh, withstand uh, 100,000 newtons. There's 100,000 newton pressings on your body now. So this, this question just want to show you how big uh, the atmospheric pressure is. Huh? Okay, it's a very, very big pressure. Having, uh, figure A above shows the vertical height of mercury in a mercury barometer in a laboratory. Figure B shows the mercury barometer in water at a depth of 2 meter. Find the vertical height H of the mercury in the barometer in the water. Given that the pressures at a depth of 10 meter from the water surface is a 76 cm mercury. Okay. When this barometer is in water, so the pressure act on the surface of the mercury, the pressure of the P, the pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure plus the pressures of the water, right? Because uh, there are atmospheric gas pressing down, atmospheric gas pressing down, and water pressing down. So the water here is the atmospheric pressure plus the pressure caused by the water, plus the water caused by the pressure. The water caused by the atmosphere, the water caused by the atmosphere is 75 cm. So it's a 75 cm mercury. Then how about the pressure caused by the water? Okay, the pressure caused by the water. Now, the question tells us that the pressure at the depth of 10 meter from the water surface is 76 cm mercury. Means that 10 cm water is equivalent to 76 cm mercury. But this one just 2 cm water, sorry, 10 meter water, 10 meter water, not 10 cm. Now this one just 2 meter water. 2 meter water is equivalent to how many cm mercury? 10 meter water, 76 cm mercury. Yeah? So 2 meter water is equal to equivalent to how many cm mercury? 15.2, yes. Yes, huh? okay. 10 meter, 76 cm. And 1 meter, 7.6 cm. 2 meter, 15.2 uh, cm mercury. So the pressure caused by the water is uh, 15.2 uh, cm mercury. So, uh, so therefore, this is equal to 90.2 cm mercury. So since the pressure, the pressure is uh, 90.2 cm mercury, and therefore, the length of this mercury column will also be 19.2 cm, eh? okay? Because the pressure is equal to the length of the mercury column, so H is equal to 90.2 cm mercury. This is a challenging question, actually. Huh? Okay, a lot of students can't answer this. Eh? Usually, when, when this question comes on an exam, a lot of students can't, can't answer this because it's uh, a little bit complicated, actually. So I, I hope you get the idea. Huh? I hope you get the idea. First, you need to know that if you put a barometer inside water, then the pressure act on the barometer is the atmospheric pressure plus the liquid pressure. You have learned this last week. Huh? We have learned this last week. That is a pressure in liquid. Huh? Pressure in liquid. And uh, the pressure caused by the atmosphere is 75 cm mercury, and the pressure caused by the water is 15.2 uh, cm mercury. Okay, you get you get this from uh, this one. Uh, the depth 10 meter 76 cm mercury.